HyperDocs are transformative, interactive, digital lessons, the ultimate change agent in the blended learning classroom, having the potential to elevate the way you teach and the way your students learn. We're going to walk through a lesson about commas. This third grade blended learning lesson is packaged on a Google Doc with all the needed resources placed for a deliberate cycle of learning. Students will explore a concept first, then comes the explanation, then the application of knowledge. Let's take a closer look at the lesson design. This hyperdoc starts with an engage and explore activity of songs and videos, allowing students to explore comma rules before hearing the explanation from the teacher. Students are asked to explore the resource, then record their learnings and what they wonder about commas. After they have actively engaged with the learning and making meaning for themselves, the next step is the explain portion of the lesson design. Students will have access to the comma rules which cover the content goals for the lesson plus moving beyond including rules that extend past third grade standards. Having this document linked for easy access allows all types of learners to receive the level of support they need to succeed with a lesson or go beyond. The apply part of the lesson design asks students to examine text from their current class read aloud. They are to look for commas, highlight them, then check the eight rules to find out which ones apply and copy and paste the rules in the chart. As the designer of this HyperDoc lesson, Kathleen included specific learning goals to meet the diverse needs of her students. Let's watch as she begins this blended learning lesson at the carpet, reader's workshop style. It'll go off for just a short period of time. We'll probably pick this back up in the Chroma document, but short period of time working with a partner on a doc, okay? So it'll be no technology, on technology, and okay. okay. So each shoots in late. In Go. this portion of the lesson, Kathleen is using Get the inquiry method to let children explore the concept of commas without Go telling them him. the rules. Doctors? <laughs> Do you see the change in the picture? Does the picture kind of help you with that? Turn she gives students time to collaborate, share their thinking face to face. What did you notice changed between one page and the other? She shares one more example, emphasizing what did you notice rather than telling them the rule. Absolutely. Lynn has started her comma lesson offline with engaging and exploring the concept of commas. She hasn't explained any rules yet. What we love to do as learners is we like to start through little videos, really short videos. So what I did when I was trying to decide how best to teach you is to pull these videos. And if you were in the Chrome lab or the computer lab, we just thought you guys do it on your own, right? And then we'd stop, we'd reflect, we'd talk about our learnings. But because we're doing it together, I'm going to show it. We're going to stop. I'm going to jot. I'm going to be the jotter, right? And then we'll keep going. Her third graders are learning how to pull information from videos and text. So she chose to model the explain portion of the lesson together. Number 13 on our list is missing comma in a compound sentence. Her goal is to explicitly teach how to listen for information and pay attention to wonders and questions they have. This is a skill they'll practice together before she releases them to do it again with their partners. She'll practice this over and over again. Eventually, her students will do this part on their own. But she starts by modeling the expectations with the whole class. She asks for their thinking and types it on the hyperdoc that they will be using. So here it tells you a compound sentence. 
Compound sentences like Nate talked about. This if chart of comma rules is the resource students will be using the for the explained portion of the lesson. Before students will match up what they notice in the reading with the rules. This chart is linked up on the HyperDoc for easy access. She teaches now, the class how to leave it open, then refer to back to it when needed. Comma rule and copy and paste the rule. Mm. Okay, here I go. Is this the rule? Yes. A compound. She models the tech skills as she goes, rather than teaching them separately, and no, never yeah. assuming that no, they know how to okay. highlight or copy and paste. I can't see it up there, but I can see when I do it. Okay, I'm going to copy it. I'm going back after my example, and I'm pasting. A compound sentence contains, oh. All right, and just so that you guys can see it standing out, and if you want to do it, you can do it. There we go. Let me see. The shapes arrange themselves into words. Is that a sentence? Okay, let me check the second one. At this point, Just she's ready to release students to work in groups, giving them the last of the instructions. Then we'll work on it, yeah. I, I don't want the whole class on the same doc. It won't work. But the three of you can be on the same doc, okay? How do you copy it? Let's go up here, make a copy, rename. There are many ways to get HyperDocs to students. This is a choice you need to think about when teaching with HyperDocs. Kathleen wanted to type on their copy first, but could have used Google Classroom to give each student their own copy. She wants to build their doc skills, though, and wanted to keep a copy for each group of three, so she chose this method instead. As students begin working in their groups of three, we get a glimpse of their collaborative thinking through exploration on their HyperDoc. Mine is a lemon. Love is ridiculous, but love is also wonderful and powerful and desperate. I made mine a lemon. For the princess, I know that. Do you want to bold it, maybe? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. So good. We let's look for more commas. No, we need to highlight. That's a comma. That's a comma. <laughs> Let's first read it. Do we have to do all the commas? I think so. Yep. Oh, this is me. Over there. And now the word is dark and light is precious. But there's so many more Come closer, closer, dear reader. Oh, you must trust me. This, this, this is, is last time. Oh, this is, yeah. This is a full time. Yeah. 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 Other? My sister is done. But then you call it something that I'm Oh, wait. Did you do that? And there's love for Princess Grey. Did you do that? It does have that. Maybe you should just have it. So you're on yeah, there. Just, and go to okay, highlight. I just want to make it just up. I don't know. Like, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna have to highlight this. And I don't want to highlight that. Okay. Okay, two minutes. So, you need to write the Oh, shit. Okay. So, why are we hiding like that? I forgot. Oh, I'm not hiding that. So, why are we hiding like that? I forgot. There's two in one. So, let's go oh. over here. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, that is the one he see. Oh, no. Oh, that's the other one. Yeah. This is the apply portion of the lesson. Students are able to work together to show what they know about the comma rules for the examples on the HyperDoc. All the tools they need to complete this lesson are packaged on the HyperDoc to help the learning process go smoothly. There we go. By allowing her students to explore the content and apply their learning without the lecture, Kathleen is freed from the front of the classroom to work with small groups. She can pull her students who are learning English, nudge her students who are easily getting the concept, and support those who need extra help. Okay. That is the best learning right there, right, Alex? When you bring it to attention to your group saying, I'm not sure about this, because remember, when we're done with this piece, I might give you another 10 minutes together in the front lab, but you're on your own. So please, when you have a question, speak up to your group, because that's where the learning happens. Okay? Kathleen uses right, this mid-workshop interruption to emphasize and reteach good minutes. collaboration so, within the groups encouraging higher levels of critical thinking and metacognition. The routines in this classroom enable this lesson to go smoothly. 
From the switching of partners to the cleanup process, everyone knows their role before coming back to the carpet for the final reflection, a crucial piece to this hyperdoc that can be done online or offline. What did you like about this activity? what did you like about Students were asked to reflect on what they liked, what they learned, and what challenged their learning. This metacognition practice will help them build the skills that they use when learning with Hyperdocs more independently in the coming days. Is that what you're saying? Okay. What did you like about this, Udita? So the hard part about it was like, oh, okay. um, This time gives Kathleen the opportunity to realign their understanding, formatively assess the many skills they practice, and also provides immediate feedback highlighting their successes. So you use the comma rule as your reference as you kind of went back and forth. Did you toggle back and forth and back and forth? It takes a lot, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, last one. Deshaun? When I made a mistake, my group helped me, so I also had a big learner because I really didn't know, like, I didn't know that there are different ways to, you can use a comma. So I think I heard what you say was that you liked working with your group yeah. because when there was something that you thought it was and someone was there to say, I'm not, sh to, to question it in a respectful way, and you're like, oh, now I get it, right? Because. I think as third graders, we know a few different comma things, don't we? Yeah. But I gave you eight different comma things. Since this was the first day students were experiencing this hyperdoc, Kathleen chose to do the reflection offline. She went back to the doc later, and students were allowed to do it online. This allowed every student a voice. This lesson was one hour, but did continue on for part two and three over the next few days. For part two, students were challenged with finding more commas while reading their library books. They took pictures of the sentences and used the app Skitch to annotate the punctuation. They next then uploaded the images to a shared doc with a chart that required them to sort their comma pictures under the correct comma rule. This proved to be the messiest learning and the most valuable. Since it was a shared Google Doc, Kathleen was able to pull the class together to debate the placement of the images, adjust misplaced ones, and extend the depth of knowledge by inspiring kids to wonder why some columns were empty while others were full. This led to students questioning if there is a difference between nonfiction text and fiction when it comes to comma usage. Going through these experiences created a very successful sticky learning experience one that kids remembered long after the lesson, as Kathleen saw the transfer to the correct usage of commas in their writing pieces. And finally, part three of the Hyperdoc. Students were able to apply their knowledge of commas by using Storyboard That to create their own version of the book, Eats, Shoots, and Leaves, that inspired the entire lesson.